Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Peter and I'm very excited to bid you welcome into this beautiful forest in the middle of winter. There's not a cloud in the sky, no wind at all, and I have a 100 meter shooting range right in front of me. So why not take advantage of the situation and test some barrels in the FX Impact M3. When you get the M3 in 177, it comes with a 600 millimeter liner. But a kind soul, Stephen Jones, thank you very much, was kind enough to let me know that the 700 millimeter barrel kit was available somewhere. So I ordered that as fast as I could. So now there's a 700 millimeter liner on my impact. So what we'll be testing today is what gain can you expect in velocity by swapping your 600 millimeter liner into a 700 millimeter liner. But before we dive into the shooting, let's take a closer look at the barrels. Okay, so uh, here we have the two barrels. This is a 600 millimeter and this is a 700. Um, they are both, of course, a superior liner. And uh, let's start by um, uh, with the transfer port. That's a Huma dual hole transfer port on the, both of them. This one has a carbon fiber uh, barrel housing that my, my buddy uh, Stefan makes. Uh, I did a video on uh, where I compared the 500 and the 600 millimeter liner in uh, in his uh, M2. And uh, in case you're interested in that, go find that video in the description of uh, of that video. You'll find uh, his uh, contact information. But yeah, this is uh, the the 600, and uh, this is uh, the 700. There's not much more to say, so let's just start the testing of the difference in velocity between these two barrels. Okay, so now we've attached the 600 millimeter liner to, to the gun and uh, let's see how it shoots. It's 10 shots and we'll take an average uh, when we're done. I have the segment gauge uh, attached here on the side. So I'm shooting when the regulator is uh, exactly the same uh, on every shot. Nine hundred sixty seven. Nine hundred sixty three. Nine hundred sixty three. Nine hundred sixty. Nine hundred sixty five. The spread seems uh, pretty decent, actually. Nine hundred fifty six. Two more. Nine hundred sixty. Nine hundred sixty five. Okay, so that's an average of nine hundred and sixty four feet per second. So, yeah. Uh, that's the result with the 600 millimeter liner. Let's move on to the 700 millimeter liner. So now with the results from the 600 millimeter liner, we are moving into the 700 millimeter liner. Ten shots. Nine hundred sixty seven. That's a big spread. Nine hundred eighty six. Doesn't get better. Nine 
hundred ninety. That's actually one of the things that I've been battling with this gun. It's um, it's the spread, and I don't know what how to to fix it, but it it doesn't really seem to affect the the accuracy much. Nine hundred seventy. Nine hundred sixty-seven. Two more. Nine hundred sixty-five. Last one. Nine hundred seventy-seven. Okay, so there's an. The average speed is uh, 974 feet per second. Okay, so that concludes our grand test for uh, the differences in velocities uh, between the two barrels, the 600 and the 700 millimeter. The 600 was uh, 964 and the 700 was uh, 974, so not much difference in, um, in velocity. But that brings me um, to, to a question. Uh, why would you change your, your barrel? Would you do it to increase velocity or would you do it to, um, to improve accuracy? Um, I, I would say for, for me, uh, I'm not going for, for, for extra velocity. I'm, I'm going for the right velocity. So if, um, if I have a liner where I can, I can turn down uh, the rake, perhaps a little bit, uh, save some shots, uh, and improve uh, the accuracy from, uh, from the longer barrel, that would be my choice. So no, this is not a hunt for, for extra velocity, because if I wanted more velocity on the 600mm liner, I will just uh, crank up the, the rake and uh, I would uh, give it some more hammer. That's, that's pretty easy <laughs> to do, but if I can uh, lower the rake, save some, uh, some air and get some more shots, uh, and perhaps improve the, the accuracy with, um, uh, with installing the 700mm uh, liner, then that's what I'll do. I actually forgot uh, to uh, to say when I uh, introduced the two barrels that they both have the the carbon fiber uh, barrel sleeve. What that's done, uh, actually, I've only shot the M3 uh, with the carbon fiber barrel sleeve. Uh, but what it did uh, when I had my uh, Mark II was that uh, it tightened up the group over the whole range. So um, even when it was shooting bad, it was shooting better. So uh, if you haven't uh, installed the, uh, the carbon fiber sleeve on, on, uh, on your liner, uh, I would definitely recommend that you do it. But um, okay, with that said and with the result in house, let's check um, the accuracy. Um, I'm only gonna test the accuracy with the 700 millimeter liner, even though that <laughs> the, the spread seemed uh, much more fair with the 600. But anyway, let's test out the 700 millimeter liner and see what the accuracy is. Now that we've established the difference in velocities between the two barrels, it's time to test out to see if you can actually hit anything with the barrel. So I've attached the 700 millimeter liner to the gun again, and we've set the target up at 100 meters. So let's see if there's any accuracy in this gun.
that is a beautiful group at 100 meters. I'll get my measuring tape for this one. Usually, uh, when I get into <laughs> to, to the forest to shoot, I forget a uh, measuring tape. So now it's uh, it's a steady thing that I have <laughs> in my case. That was a beautiful group. I think that's that might be the best group that I've ever shot at uh, 100 meters. And to you uh, Amer Americans watching. Uh, 100 meters is uh, just around uh, 109 yards and um, I, I've, uh, I don't think I, I ever said uh, anywhere in the video that I'm shooting the uh, uh, GSP knockouts in 13.43 uh, grain. I've shot them for quite a while and I'm actually very very happy with them. I've tested out the NSAs in both 12.5 uh, and 15 grains and they've been f performing well too but uh, it seems like the the knockouts are, are the ones that that takes the price uh, not that they're better but they're much cheaper here in Europe so wow <laughs> I'm getting close to the target now and okay are you ready wow and let's see what this group is. That is a, that's insane. That's 2.2 centimeters. Wow. I have never shot a group like that at all but 2.2 centimeters that's sub moa at 100 meters with a 177 that is definitely acceptable so yeah uh, <laughs> i don't know what to say i'm pretty stoked here uh, but yeah anyway that was uh, that was uh, the final of uh, of today's test so i hope you liked it and uh, in case that uh, you have any comments or, or anything and actually um, i've been a, in a, a lot of sports uh, free diving uh, anything and in any sport that i've done i've always thought that it would be um, that it, it was a bad thing to be called a cheat but in this sport I would love to be called a cheat. So if anybody uh, wants to doubt if uh, if this is <laughs> if this is a fake, please call me a cheat. I would love that because then I've achieved my goal. So uh, with that said, take care and shoot safe. Pew!